Hello everyone, welcome to another bot build showcase. We're gonna check out my other MAO today. This one is based on sprint accelerators. I promised you would take a look at it in another video. Here it is. Sprints at 121 km an hour, walks at 45. This build is far from T3, mostly because MAO has hasn't been performing very well in the late meta. I'm running only non-resist light armors. If you're only gonna run light armors, non-resists are better than resists. Since this is a Sarissa build, we are running radar. And on my Sarissas, I'm running feeding gears. Feeling gears gives the Sarissa a really short reload time, so if you cycle fire and your your magazines are empty, you have you still have more or less continuous fire. On my javelins I run feeding gears. And yeah. Let's see how this baby performs. So we're dropping against AI. Walk speed is okay. The sprint speed is pretty decent. I'm gonna have to... In the first Sarissa MAO vid, I said that I prefer the accelerator build, but... I don't think I was correct. I think I actually prefer the Sprint Accelerator build. I was probably just a bit enamored with it, with the Accelerator MAO's uh, close quarter agility, which is nice. But being unable to flee from attacking light shots is too big of a handicap for me. With Sarissas, you don't really have that good of a chance of the killing, and uh, yeah, Keep killing Shons and killing Mites is a really, really, really hard task with Sarissas. You basically have to retreat and fire at the same time, and just pray that some of your shots hit the target. Here you can you can see now why I prefer the the sprint uh, MAO over the accelerator MAO. Simply because its maneuverability is better. It's been too long since I played this bot. I probably wouldn't have played it again if it wasn't for me uh, making this series. So I have no problem admitting that my first assessment of the Accelerator MEO was wrong. This one is a pretty decent bot actually, it's a bit squishy, but uh, it is a support bot and can deal with pretty good amount of damage. When you hit, that is, of course. You don't really have a good chance of hitting Ravagers either, it's MAOs and Tormentors and, no, I'm sorry, Nellies and uh, of course the Turpitzes. You can hit those. That Sean over there is piloted by a human. I remember always paying attention to where he was and positioning me accordingly so that he wouldn't be able to reach me in his shot. Because up close he would just have finished my Sarissas and killed me.
Especially if you're able to get AI turpitus, this is a very good bot for grinding. And um, as I said in the other series I mail with, this is uh, a very good bot against turpitus, against heavy hammer MAOs and against tormentor nullies. It can brawl very well, but usually just once, because uh, close quarter fighting for this bot means that you'll lose uh, Sarissa, or maybe two, and then uh, you'll be significantly handicapped. So if you, if you, I, I will generally ditch the bot at that point if we have a big enough lead. So you must never ever ever brawl with it unless you, yeah, okay. You might have, you, you, you do whatever you want. And, uh, and I'll just say that I will never ever ever brawl with a Sarissa MAO because losing one or two Sarissas is it's too big of a risk. Then most of the, most of the point about your bot is gone. And yeah. No, this is probably the only MAO build that I genuinely like at the moment. Uh, the accelerator MAO, it's decent enough, but it's just not my cup of tea. This build, this build is genuinely good. I seem to remember that this specific game netted me around 5000 points. That's all due to the turp says that was kind enough to just stay still and eat all my services. Well, with a burning chest and a red core, I guess this uh, lead goes towards it. Yeah, there it's over. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.